you can download this lesson onto your electronic device or even print it out if you like on the description below so you can work with me. So let's say these two lines here, AB and CD. So we know that AB and CD are parallel. So because of these symbols here, so they are parallel. That's what that meant. And we can write like this AB and parallel to CD like this way if you like. And these symbols here means parallel. Now we have EF, the line EF cutting through AB and CD. So EF is called transversal. So with this transversal line, cutting through the pair of parallel lines and it create different kind of um, angles. So for example, this pair of angles here, we call corresponding angles. So corresponding angles look like a letter F. So if you think about it, okay, so I just draw this. So there you go. So this angle here and this angle here, it is an um, upside down F. Or this pair of angles, see there you go, is letter F here and this is corresponding angles. Or it can be like this as well, also corresponding angles. So this is here, see there you go, it's like a letter F here. These two angles are corresponding or it can be like this as well so also corresponding angles so look it's like a letter F here see there you go so these angles are equal because of these two lines are parallel so please take notes on this so the reason is corresponding angles are equal in parallel lines now, alternate angles. So alternate angles is like a letter Z. So this angle and this angle here are alternate. So alternate angles is like a letter Z. So like this one here as well. See, if you trace a line, it's like a letter Z here. So alternate angles. So the rule is alternate angles are equal in parallel lines. So please take note they're only equal if they are parallel. So for example, if I have one line go this way and one line go that way and another line go down, these two angles here also call alternate angles, but they're not equal because this line here and this line are not parallel, so they're not equal. So therefore, very important that you have to state parallel lines. So alternate angles are equal in parallel lines. Now X angle X and angle Y, they both are inside the parallel lines and the transversal lines. So we call co-interior angles. So co-interior angles, it look like letter C if you like. So it just like this, both are inside, okay? Or angle X and Y can be like this as well. So it's, it's like a C as well. So this is co-interior angles and we know that the co-interior angle both angle x and plus angle y is equal to 180 degrees so we have to state the reason co-interior angles add up to 180 degrees in parallel lines so please take note on this so let recap all the thing i just mentioned so corresponding angles so it's like a letter f so if you highlight this, so this is like letter F and they are equal, okay, in parallel lines, of course. And then this one here. So if I clear this, it's just like letter F as well. There you go. Upside down F or it can be this. They're, they're all corresponding angles. So remember this. So corresponding angles are equal in parallel lines. Alternate angles, remember letter Z, so this like this, so like letter Z or it's like this, so it's alternate angles and they are equal. So alternate angles are equal in parallel lines. And the third one is called interior angles, 
So both of them, X and Y, are inside. So we call co-interior, interior, inside. And this one as well. And like a letter C, if you like, like this, co-interior angles. So X plus Y is equal to 180 degrees. And the reason is co-interior angles add up to 180 degrees in parallel lines. So find the value of X, okay? So if you think you can do it, please stop the video and try it yourself or work with me. So first question here. So it's like a letter F here. If you think about it, it's like this, see? So this angle and these angles, we call corresponding angles. So they are equal because both of these lines here are parallel. So therefore, X equal to 120. And don't forget, okay, we need to give reason as well. So the reason is corresponding angles are equal in parallel lines. So this angle here is like letter Z here. So this angle and this angle are alternate. So they are equal. So therefore, X is equal to 113. And do not forget, okay, the reason is alternate angles are equal in parallel lines. Please stop the video and try these two yourself. So question number three. So this angle and this angle here both are inside. So therefore, it is co-interior angles. So like a letter C here, both are inside. So X plus 120 is equal to 180 because they are co-interior angles. So co-interior angles add up to 180 degrees in parallel lines. And to solve for X, we minus 120 on this side, and we need to do the same thing on this side as well, of course. So this cancel out. So 180 minus 120 is 60. So therefore, X is equal to 60. Question number four. So we have this angle here and this angle here. Both are inside of this, so it's co-interior angles. So we know that this X at 57 at 43 is equal to 180. And the reason is co-interior angles add up to 180 degrees in parallel lines. So we collect like term first, so 57 plus 63 is 100. So now X plus 100 is 180. To get rid of this 100, so we minus 100 out. Of course, we do the same thing on the right hand side as well. So that cancel out. So 180 minus 100 is 80. So therefore, X is equal to 80. Please stop the video and try this to yourself. So we know that question number five, this angle here and these angles are alternate, like a letter Z here, see, there you go. So alternate angles are equal. So therefore, X plus 20 is equal to 63. And we must give reason as well, of course. The reason is alternate angles are equal in parallel lines. So to so for x, we minus 20 on the left and we minus 20 on this side as well. This cancel out. 60 minus 20 is 40. So therefore, x is equal to 43. Last question. So first of all, to find x, so we know this angle all the way from here to here is supplementary angles. Straight angle, if you like. So therefore, x plus 143 is 80 degrees. So the reason is supplementary angles add up to 180 degrees. To solve for X, we need to minus 143 this one out. So we need to minus 143 this size as well. So this cancel out. So 180 minus 140 is 40. And 40 minus 3 is 37. So therefore, X is 37. Now to, to find Y, so Y we know that is Y and X is like a letter F here. So we call corresponding angles. So 
y is equal to x, which is x is 37. So therefore, y is equal to 37. And the reason is corresponding angles are equal in parallel lines. Thank you so much for watching.